Here are the objectives of this video. First, to differentiate data and information. Second, to compare encoding and decoding processes. Third, to explain the benefits and drawbacks of coding before data entry. People use the terms data and information interchangeably. In this video, we are going to understand the difference between these two terms. Let's begin with the data. Technology professionals define data as the symbols that represent people, events, things, and ideas. It is a collection of values which can be characters, numbers, images, or sounds. Data can be obtained through internal and external communication. Internal communication happens with people inside the organization, while external communication is with people outside, such as suppliers or customers. The collection of data can be direct or indirect. Direct data is collected for the purpose of the processing being undertaken. For example, asking for feedback rating from customers for service improvement. On the other hand, indirect data was originally collected for another purpose but is now being processed to provide extra information. For example, identify locations where the credit card has been used. Data can be gathered from formal or informal channels. Formal channels are the official and reliable sources, such as memos, letters, the company bulletin board, and advisories. Informal channels are the unofficial, often unreliable ones, such as office gossip, informal meetings, and rumors. Data becomes information when it is processed or analyzed and presented in a format that people can understand and use. To illustrate data, consider it as this set of random words and numbers separated by commas. To turn this into information, the words and numbers were interpreted, organized, and formatted according to predefined parameters. Now the meaning of the data is clear. It is the contact information for the person named Juan Cruz. Here are additional distinctions that show data and information are not interpreted as the same thing. First, data is a collection of values used by machines such as computers, while information is used by humans. Second, data does not depend on the information. Information does depend on data. Third, data is input and information is output. Fourth, Data is raw material and information is the product. And fifth, data is a single unit and information is a grouping of data. Information is a vital resource for the success of any organization. Good quality information provides opportunities and determines possible problems well in advance. Here are some key characteristics of good quality information. Accurate. As much as possible, information should be free from errors. It is correct in all details. Accurate information is usually a result of accurate data collection. More time should be allocated to collect and check data for a greater accuracy rate. Current. If needed in a task, information that is in the present time or what is happening should be available. For example, the owner of a retail store needs information on how the store is performing and which products are selling well, so that immediate action can be taken. Relevant. Information obtained should be the ones needed for the task or for making decisions. Fourth, complete. Information should contain the necessary and appropriate parts. Economical. Data collection and processing cost money. Therefore, the information should be worthwhile in relation to the amount of money, time, and effort spent. Processing data into information is the fundamental purpose of a computer. Computers manipulate data in so many ways, like performing calculations, modifying documents and pictures, and sorting lists of words or numbers. Processing includes the conversion of raw data to machine-readable form, which is called encoding. Specifically, 
This is putting a sequence of characters, numbers, and other data types into a specialized format for efficient transmission or storage. Encoding is important for the data to be understood within the computer, for storage or transmission from one machine to another. Since a computer can only understand two values, 0 and 1, each data that you want to store or send across has to be converted into a sequence of zeros and ones. Decoding is the opposite process. This is the conversion of code into plain text or any format that is useful for subsequent processes. It converts encoded data communication transmissions and files to their original states. In short, when storing something in computers, the data will be encoded and then stored. And when reading it back, it will be decoded and then displayed to you. To speed up the data entry and to save storage, some data is coded before it is entered into a computer. For example, when asking for a gender, instead of entering the word male or female, we can let the user input M or F. The changing of the original data into shortened version is what we call coding. When requiring a yes or no answer, the input can be coded to Y or N. Another example is when you would like to ask for feedback ratings from customers. They can use a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being poor and 5 being excellent. The single digit can be entered into a computer and the number makes it easy to analyze and compare data. Those examples show that coding categorizes information and can replace long description strings with a few letters or numbers or both. Here are key advantages of coding. First, it is quicker to enter into the computer. Second, it requires less disk space to store and less memory to process. Third, it can make processing such as searching easier as there will be fewer responses. Fourth, it improves the consistency of the data as spelling mistakes are less likely. And fifth, validation is easier to apply. Coding also has a drawback. For example, since the information is coarsened by forcing it all into categories, there might not be a category that matches what you want to record. We come to the end of this video lesson. I hope I have given some light to your knowledge about the differences between data and information. If you find this helpful, please like, leave a comment, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your time.